History to Literacy is a project which is going to give children the opportunity to investigate uh, what happened on the night of the 15th of April in 1912. It was in fact, of course, the sinking of the Titanic, now probably the most famous ship in the world, and at the time a very famous uh, new liner on its maiden voyage from Southampton to, uh, to New York. It was the year that Scott died in the Antarctic. Um, it was also a time when Britain, of course, held the largest empire in the world, and uh, it was a moment when Britain itself was in some turmoil. People were emigrating in large numbers. There was serious, uh, there were serious strikes uh, across Britain. But it was a time which is remembered, I suppose, particularly for the Edwardians, um, for the upper class who enjoyed a lifestyle which was second to none. It was the end of what we might describe as the Victorian era, which would be punctuated in 1914, of course, by huge social change which resulted from the First World War. What this project does is it looks at the technology of the Edwardian period, it looks at the Titanic, it looks at the people who were involved in the design and the saving of that ship, and also those, of course, who suffered as a consequence of its sinking. Overnight, uh, on the 15th of April, 1,500 people died in the cold waters um, just to the east of Newfoundland. The ship was originally sold as being unsinkable. It was um, the, uh, the most impressive of the new White Star Line liners and it, was, uh, it had all the new technology of the, of the age. It had been built in Belfast and uh, it was the flagship of the, uh, of the White Star Line. What amazed people, of course, was the fact that the ship sank at all, and in the uh, aftermath of the, uh, of the sinking, there were two major inquiries, one um, in New York and another one in London. And what those inquiries revealed was that some of the safety issues um, that resulted in the deaths of so many could have perhaps been avoided. Married with the trauma that uh, the White Star Line staff obviously suffered as a consequence of the, uh, of, the, uh, of the sinking was the heroism of the individuals involved. And what we're going to do with this History to Literacy project is investigate some of the mechanics of why the ship sank, the issues about the icebergs that were to be found in that part of the Atlantic at that time of the year, but in particular to look at the personal experiences of those who were involved. Uh, Captain Smith, who remained on his bridge right to the end, uh, his last phrase apparently that was heard by anybody was, be British, and of course uh, that characterised the, uh, the evacuation of the, uh, of the ship. Of charge, Charles Lightoller, who was the second officer, uh, largely responsible for organising the disembarkation of so many individuals. It wasn't um, a huge success in that many more could have been saved. But people like Charles, like Toller, did the best in the circumstances. Children will, of course, be able to judge whether he, uh, he did the right thing, whether, in fact, the captain had followed the, uh, the, the necessary policies, and, in fact, whether nearby ships made their way as quickly as they possibly could to, uh, to rescue as many as, uh, as might have been taken out of the water. There are great heroes. Um, there is, there's Harold Bride, who stayed by the wireless throughout the sinking of the Titanic. There's Captain Rostrum, who heard, quite by accident, that uh, the Titanic was sinking. His wireless operator was listening for the football results when he heard the distress call from the Titanic. Captain Rostrum then uh, pushed his ship two and a half knots faster than it was designed to go, as quick as he could, to get to the uh, site and rescue as many as possible. There were moments of great tragedy, there were moments of great heroism, and what this project is going to do is to give children the opportunity to apply their literacy skills, to use the technologies that are available, and to encounter some really interesting uh, historical questions about the nature of the world in 1912, uh, the issues around the, uh, the, the ship and uh, who survived. Interestingly, of course, far more of the first-class passengers survived than the third-class passengers. And also, of course, to look and see what people went through. It will be an experience in more ways than one.